Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, today filming in my own garden, because it's very windy and on the beach you will have a lot of bad sound. Uh, as promised, a video about the central bank's digital currencies, uh, but first some way other cool information that you need to understand to understand the goal of the central bank's digital currencies, and that's what we are going to start with now. You're going to start with inflation. As you know, everybody all over the world is complaining about inflation. Inflation means that your life is becoming more expensive. So you can buy less with the same amount of dollars than you could buy last year. That's inflation. Your life is becoming more expensive. Now, everyone that has survived the last two years of the fake flu show now understands what inflation is and now understands that yes, um, your, do your dollars or your euros are not that valuable anymore as they were last year as you can buy less stuff. But the solution that most people search or use at that moment is loans. So consumers start to loan more and more money so that they can still live that lifestyle that they are used to live uh, but now because they don't have enough own money anymore, own capital, because of the inflation, everything is becoming more expensive, they start to loan money. That is what you can see on this chart. Bam. Here you can see that people start to loan a shitload more than they were used to loan and that the people are saving a shitload less than they were saving because all the money they earn every month is spent on everything they need plus they need to loan money to spend that as well. So at that moment, you're paying off your debts, you can't save anymore. And life continues to be more, become more expensive and your euro and dollar are still becoming more inflated every year and again and again as the central banks keep printing a shitload of fake money out of thin air. Now, the result of that is that people get stuck in their own country. They don't have enough to do the luxury stuff like holidays and go out or maybe move to another country because then you need to um, you need to settle your debts and your loans before that you are able to, you know, deregister on the tax office in your country and go to a new country. So you get stuck. You get stuck in that country that wants you to get stuck because that's the goal. You need to be the oil for that country that you were intended to be. That's why you did your education in that country. You become oil for the machine that is the name of your country. The Netherlands for me. They wanted me to become oil for the Dutch machine. And I refused to do that. That's why I chose Bitcoin. But let's continue uh, the thought process that I was just talking about. So now you're stuck in that country because you don't have the luxury anymore to spend um, a lot of cash. You're massively in debt because you bought a house, because you have extra debts of the loan that you have now. Um, so you're fighting the inflation by creating more debts, which will result in a disaster, which will result that you will be enslaved through the banks in the new setup in the central bank's digital currencies that they are creating. And then, yes, when they trade that central bank's digital currency, you are the perfect victim to become part of that. Because, ah, we can help you, but you need to become part of the central bank's digital currency. And then when you become part of that central bank's digital currency, then the whole fun show happens. Like you see in China now. They create central bank's digital currencies with an expiration date, which means you need to spend the five digital yuan uh, that, that's the central bank's digital currency in China. You need to send, spend the five or the ten, whatever is in your account, before a certain date, because else your money is expiring. Do you see what is happening? It is a spiral that will lead into their goal, and their goal is the central bank's digital currency, and enslaving you to become completely dependent on that central bank's digital currency, and by that, they can do whatever to you what they want because you don't have any other opportunities left to spend currencies outside of that system. Because they will not allow you at that point to buy Bitcoin or to buy alternative currencies because they will regulate the hell out of it and be in full control of that central bank's digital currency. It's a modern way of enslaving their people. And I don't understand why people don't see this happening. So that central bank digital currency is there, they enslaved you already a little bit because you're now dependent on them and then they will bam, enter the social credit system. Whenever you drive through a, rest, a traffic light, or whenever you do something that's not allowed, or maybe even cameras or microphones hearing you swear on the streets like fuck that, then you will have minus points and that means you go negative in your ratings and when you go negative in your ratings you're not able to fly outside of your country, you're not able to get social system support, you're not able to do anything anymore because you need to build up your social credit before you can participate like a normal human being again. 
I know this might sound like a movie to you guys, but I really believe that's something that is happening at the moment in China already. There is already a social credit system. There is already an expiration date on the central bank's digital currency that you need to spend before a certain time. They are already in full control. And I think 20% of the Chinese people can't even go out of, outside of their country because they don't have a high enough social credit score. And this is going to happen to more and more countries, in my opinion. So that is why I keep making these videos to um, educate you on why you should be stepping into Bitcoin now. It is the perfect moment. We are the bear market bottom. A bear market bottom it doesn't matter if it's 15k or 20k or 25k for me that's all a bottom range you should be exchanging all your US dollars all your euros as much as possible into Bitcoin now while it's still possible in non KYC creative ways and I know your first question now how to do this non KYC how to do that I will just only say OTC and if you Google OTC or Facebook groups or Telegram groups or meet OTC people, just start to mingle in the crypto community, you will find people that do OTC deals for you. Which means you take the money out of your bank by withdrawing it in an ATM, you go and meet a guy and you give him the cash and he gives you the Bitcoin and that's anonymous, non-KYC. That is the solution in my opinion at the moment. So if you don't want to get fully stuck in the future in this central bank's digital currency scam slash social credit system, I would diversify a huge part of your capital in those assets that they don't have control on because they only control you if you use their currency. They will not be able to control you if you use our decentralized form of currency that we as a community agree on on using worldwide. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this information. If you do understand it, uh, then leave a comment. Also, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you don't understand it, also leave a comment. And if you don't agree with me, uh, especially then, leave a comment and tell me why you don't agree with me. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again in the next TA video on Friday. Bam!